what's up guys back with another twin motion tutorial i'm going to show you how to do a minimalist office rendering using twin motion let's get right into the video all right so the first thing you notice in my scene i have all my assets already situated in my scene so if you're wondering where you can find these assets you would go to objects home and then you have office so this tab actually shows you all your available assets for chairs and accessories as well all right so now that we have our scene as you can see i did add a plant a little box and added some books and you can find these in the twin motion library as well all right so Just kind of showing you a little bit of the scene. It's pretty much a very simple uh, minimalist office space with a uh, really high ceiling. And you can see a really tall curtain wall to go along with it, which, which helps bring in a lot of light. So that's why I love the scene a lot. Guys, if you're liking this video so far, don't forget to hit the like button for me. And um, you can also download this model on my website at renderreboot.com. So don't forget to check that out. All right, so let's get into the video. I'm going to click on my image. And as you know, you go to the plus sign and it will save your image for you. You can click on these three dots and you can rename the name of the image that you want. We call it render two. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to my environment tab and I'm gonna check and see what time of day I want to change this to. Actually, I'll keep it at this time. Sun intensity. We're gonna bring it down 25,000. Okay. Then we got my sun size. Let's do eight. We're gonna leave our sun reflection at 92. Moon intensity, that's fine. And okay, so the ambient star intensity, all that seems okay to me. Right now our sun is 90 degrees. I'm gonna change that to 45. Kind of bring in some light a little bit as you can see. All right, so right now we're in July and I'm gonna change this to September because that's the month we're in. So September is gonna allow some more of that light to come in through our high windows. So June, July, September. As you can see, you start to see our light coming in. Very nice. All right, so now I'm, gonna, I'm going to scroll down and we have our HDRI environment. I am not gonna enable that at this point. Okay, so I'm looking at my other settings. Let's go to camera. Now I want to, I'm a little further back than I would like. I wanna um, get a closer shot. So we're gonna go to, first of all, let's mess around with our exposures. And we'll leave our auto exposure checked. And our exposure here is at one, let's change it 1.25. Our white balance, at 6800 definitely want to turn it down looking for a more cooler cooler color all right so now we got our local exposure we'll leave that enabled and we got our highlight reduction let's crank that all the way up and our shadow boost okay all right so now this is where i want to adjust our focal length is right now it's at 18 um we're gonna go ahead and Bring it up some to maybe 22 and let's do 24 get up a little close okay so now i'm gonna check my details all right so vignetting so right now it's at 50 percent and for those who don't understand what vignetting does it really just darkens your corners and kind of helps focus in 
where the light is so it will darken all the corners and it will put emphasis on whatever target you're trying to put on your um your rendering so right now i got 50 percent i'm going to adjust that to let's do 65 percent see as you can see it starts to get darker around the corners okay so our sharpness is at zero i'm gonna bring it up 25 percent chromatic abrasion that's at zero at one so we always want to make sure we have our parallelism checked and we can align our camera so what you want to do is click on this wall here and then it just ensures that we're that we are uh, in line okay so now that we have that we want to refresh our updates to our image okay so that saves our last adjustment in our settings okay so we're going to enable our, our depth of field and I'm going to pick a focus and I want this to be the center of my focus here okay so now I'm going to adjust the aperture here let's see three three and bokeh shape we're gonna move that up to 15 I'm gonna change this distance okay I'm not gonna use film back on this one sometimes I use it sometimes I don't but we're just gonna go with the regular 4k guys if you're liking this video don't forget to smash that like button and stick around because we're gonna get into the path tracer settings in just a second all right so I didn't adjust any of these I don't believe these are bloom and flares okay only we'll that the same now before we get into our path tracer let's go to FX and let's make some adjustment to our contrast right now it's at 50% I want to boost up our contrast to 65% and then we have our saturation that's at 50% I'm thinking 55 so here in twin motion you have the option to add a color gradient and twin motion has uh, a lot of different choices for you um, we're going to use fall i just like the way it looks so we use fall let's see if i can find you here we go all right so I didn't put on a filter uh, for this one. I'm gonna go to image. We're gonna change it to a 4K. Details, we're gonna check mark tile rendering. All right, so now we're gonna get into the path tracer. So now I'm gonna hit path tracer. And as you can see, it's on low. I'm gonna go to details. And we wanna crank up the settings on this one. So right now we're at 256. I want this to be 2040 and our max bounces gonna make it 35 and we're gonna leave the emissive materials checked and the denoiser checked and fireflies we are going to keep it at one all right so now we're gonna check our settings and make sure that I didn't forget anything but I think um, I think I got everything so far so don't forget to hit that like button and um, check out this model on render and uh, we'll be back with another one